it's catching light. It's catching a kind of invisible light, which is very different. I don't know whether I catch dreams, most probably my own dreams. My name is Kurt Moser and I am the light catcher. I was born not very far away from here, really in the middle of the mountains on 1,900 meter sea level. If you grew up in these mountains, then of course you have a kind of relationship to these mountains. These mountains are beautiful. They are here since 200 millions of years and most probably they will be here other 200 millions of years. And when you go up there, you can feel it. You're just a little, small person up there in the middle of this immense, huge nature. I spent 30 years as a cameraman. I was all over the planet working. I think this was uh, something deep in me after shooting in war zones and, and shooting scenes that you really should not see. Something grows in you. There's a deep need of taking picture of something completely different, the exact opposite, beauty. Something like three years ago, by mistake, I found, or maybe she found me, this beautiful old camera that was covered with blanket with five centimeters of dust on it. We took the blankets off and we discovered this piece of history and I restored it for four months and then it worked. And there was this big question, what to do now with this camera? I mean, it was really nice to look at, but that's not enough. This camera was made for taking pictures and not for being in a museum. I, I don't go to a shop and say, I would like to have this lens, and I would like to have this light meter, and I would like to have these filters. Nothing exists, so I have to look for everything that I need. In 1850, they found out about this kind of photography, this system, and this ancient photographic system. I think this was amazing. I, I could not even imagine that today somebody could invent something like this. So for me, these guys were heroes. There are a huge amount of error possibilities and you have to get rid of one by one. So it's a learning process and it never stops. You take a black glass plate and you cover it with collodion, which is a substance made of gunpowder, cotton powder, and you put some alcohol and ether in it and different salts, and then you pour it on the glass plate, it dries down and you bring it in a silver butt, it completely absorbs the silver crystals. You expose it on the camera. Fünf, vier, drei. And as soon as you have done the picture, you go back in your dark room immediately because you have only five minutes and you have to develop it. If I make a mistake just by one second, that's kind of a catastrophe. When you've succeeded with your developing, then you fix it, you wash it and you varnish it. It's a complicated system. Sometimes I was uh, on the edge of saying, hey, come on, forget about But then there were photographers in 8050, they were able to work with the system, so why should I not be able? So when the first time a picture showed up, I was kind of blown away. It was something like, wow, it works. It was kind of a miracle. Now what I'm doing is one photograph every three days, and it's just this one. I can touch it, I can feel it. It lasts for some hundred of years. You know, that's, that's unbelievable in this kind of times that we are living now. I photograph something that we don't see. I photograph some kind of invisible light with UV light and that makes it very interesting. I think it's worth doing this. If you have this one picture in front of you and you look at it, then you say, okay, that's why I do it. If I take a portrait with this old camera, it takes me something like two or three hours just to make the light, to fix the camera, to prepare the plates. Perfect. So I have a lot of time to speak to these persons and I kind of learn something of them. You have this huge camera in front of you, you have these really strong lights in front of you and you are sitting there for a long time. That changes you. You don't even try anymore to have to smile for a second. So something very, very sincere of your soul comes out. I wait exactly for this moment. 
and the reaction when people see their portrait is wow, yes, that's me, but I have never seen myself like this. I completely quit my job as a cameraman and I'm focused and completely concentrated on what I do just in this photographic project. Other people still don't understand what I'm doing and for them it's completely crazy what I'm doing. And in a way they're right because you kind of uh, risk your whole existence and just to follow a dream. There is no guarantee that it will work. I don't have an insurance. <laughs> I'm, I'm living my life today because I have no idea if in 10 years I'm still alive. I have to live my life now. My aim is not to send a message to the world. I just try to open a little bit the eyes of, of the people. In a way it is a love story, yes. In a way it is a love story. It's a kind of a crazy love story.